Hey guys, this is Miss Christine. I'm so glad that we're able to connect uh, through Zoom. The class I'm going to start with is going to be HEAT, which is High Intensity Interval Training. And unfortunately, with no equipment, uh, we have no techniques we can do. But hey, we can make it fun like we used to do in class. So I'm going to show you stuff that you're able to do at home that will still help you to get a good workout. So we're not going to give up, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing I'm going to introduce you to that I'm starting with, if you have uh, paper and toilet paper at home, please, you can use for the toilet paper. Or you can grab Kleenexes. There are so many varieties of things you can do without having weight and other equipment we have at the gym. And if you don't have those, hey, you have children, go ahead and grab like me, maybe four of these toys. And I can show you how we're going to use each one of them. So I'm starting with this. Now, the first thing I want you to do, relax at home and pile up your uh, Kleenexes. So I'm going to possibly, probably move it uh, to face you so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to squat, pick, then go one is the degree round. Pick, down, stop. Down, pick, down, stop. Down, pick, stop. Pick, then start back. So you stack it back. And you can do this probably for 15, 20, 30 seconds, depending on how much you want to do. Like I said, if you do not have uh, toilet papers, you can do this with the clean exits. So the next drill that we are going to do, okay, we are going to pile up everything. Now you go into the plank, like the push-up position. I'm going to show you, I apologize, I forgot to show you low. You can always do low if you need to, you do not have to do high intensity. You will still get a good workout. Like the first one that I did, the point is when you are squatting, your knees should not pass your foot. Squat low, squat, drop it. Squat all the way down. Squat. That's your low. Behind, you jump 180 degrees back and forth. Now, the next drill, I'm going to start my to you paper. And I'm going to, hey, by the way, I'm using my daycare room. My gym doesn't have enough light. But feel free to use whatever you can at home. If you are doing advanced, stack, stack, stack. If you want to do low, be on your knee. As you remember in class, I do not like square body. Move your body forward, stack, stack. At the end of each stack, give me that four push up. Down, up. Then you start back. And if you want to do advanced push up, full body for four. You can do low or high. That would be your second one. Now the third one I'm going to use with the tissue. Now watch me. Again, I'm going to show you I. Hello. Okay. And remember, we've done some of this in a class, but it's so much fun when you have all those equipment. Packs and rest, we are good, excellent with equipment. You know that. If you can do all this at home with that equipment, and row for classes, and see so what we can do. I'm going to start with low, and I'll show you how. Can go. 
Look, at the end, then you give me that bobby. Down, go. If you are doing high, hop, 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 bobby, jump. And if you want to do super low, just me up all the way to the end. And your bobby, down, down, then small hop. That would be your name. And some of these things, like this high interval intensity, we are going to repeat the sequences so that you do something like two, three minutes, five at most, then you see them back. Now, another thing that I'm going to show you, again, you do not have to do high. If you want to do low or mid, you just need to, uh, two pile of the toilet paper. Otherwise, advanced, I'm going to start with advanced, that's set up position. I want to flip back, flip back, and I'm going to add on like we always do in class. Flip back, flip, flip. <laughs> now you can do one leg, back, back, Back. Now I'm going to add on. Back, turn, now in, out for four. Then flip. Back, in, out for four. Now you can flip both legs in, out, then in, out. Then flip. Back, back. At the count of three, you are able to switch to the other side. So this, again, you can take a break and try to repeat the entire thing. Now, the next one that I want to show you, with the tissue. <laughs> the next one I want to show you with the tissue, will be just a little. Okay. Now, I hope you can see me. I'm right behind the tissue. Now you are going to, we are going for inner tight and outer tight now. Up, tap, together, up, tap, together, up, tap. You can repeat this for maybe eight times. Now I'm going to add to it. Up, tap, up, tap. When you go, uh, when you get to the second one, just go in. Out, in, out for four, then tap, tap, then you repeat the sequence. And of course, you want to do the same thing on the other side, which <laughs> I have some this in the camera before me. Up, tap, tap. Then you can do the in, out, in, out, in, out. Then you will do the entire thing. Up, up, up. So just small, small ideas. With uh, heat, we do a lot of jumping jack. We do a lot of running around. And of course, at home, it will be difficult to do that in the room. However, if you have steps, add your stairs. Walk stairs all the way down. Again, remember the roasting class, always step at the middle of the step. Go up, go down, go up, down. So uh, one more thing I'm going to show you with the tissue, unless you don't have paper towel okay, for cleaning it. Now I'm going to start the middle one to the two. That will be my center. This, you want to do low, make it closer. You want to do advanced, make it wider. And what I'm looking for here now, you are going to tap like you are skin right leg, right leg, pull, 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 pull. So you can do this, maybe for about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, maybe max 45 seconds. Most of this we are going to be repeating them. Um, 
I want to add a little bit of weight training pause. Hello again, everyone. This is Miss Christie again. We took like uh, a minute break. Now I want to add some weight, even though uh, some of you do not have weight at home, it's okay. You can make your own weight. If you have babies at home, trust me. Um, pretend this is my baby. Depending on how heavy that baby is, you can squat down with the baby and up. The baby will be giggling. Even if the baby is crying, just be smiling to the baby. Hey, down and up. Tell him, don't give me a Down, up, down, and up. That would be your baby. And if you do not have babies, it's okay. Everybody has backpack. Your backpack, this is really heavy. Put it inside the backpack. This is heavy. Put it inside the backpack. Grab um, some shoes, some heavy books, put them inside the backpack. And you can use them as your weight. Make it as heavy as you want it to be. Eight pounds, 10, 12. Now I'm pretending this is my weight. When you squat down, you can pull. Squat, then pull. Squat, then pull. And another thing you can just do bicep coil up. Make sure that it stays shoulder level up, then down, up, then down, up. And you can use your backpack weight also as your tricep from behind. Elbow very close to the rib cage, up, then down, up, down, up, and down, up, down. Oh, and then of course, whatever you do on the right, you are going to do also on the left. So that will be your thing. Now, uh, I know of course you can even um, you can roll it up, down, pull up, down. Make it as heavy as you can. Try to challenge yourself. Like I always say in class, up, down, up, down. Of course, whatever you do to the left, you got to do to the right. You got to do with the left. Same thing. Up, down, up, down. Now, if you are doing deadlift, chest lifted, do not hunt that back. And work me from behind with deadlift, take it down, then pull. Down, then pull. Down. My chest is lifted throughout for the deadlift. And if you have weight at home, you can go to Walmart and grab yourself eight, 10 pass weight if you do the same thing or make your own weight you know, at home. You can also launch back and forth. I want to make sure you see me. When you are launching, your knee should not pass your toe. Launch low, launch, launch, and you can add front brace. Launch, then back, launch, launch, launch. Also, you can do as much of squatting as uh, you like. Now, I'm going to side, side lunges, Long down, then pull. Down, then pull. Long down, then pull. Down, pull. Down, then you can hold it. And upright through maybe eight times. Then same thing on the left. Upright through. Up, down, up, down, up, down. You got your eight. So I'm going to add a little bit of three more things that you can do. Again, with, with heat. You walk out, maybe cardio for like 45 seconds, maximum two minutes. Then do some do, uh, some weight training or power sculpting, body weight for maybe 90 seconds. You just alternate for the duration of your 40, 45 minutes. 30 minutes is more than plenty. You go. And of course, we do all those jumping jack. Your jumping jack, if you are done high, we usually start with it with jumping jack. Or jump rope. We jump rope for about maybe three, four, maximum five minutes. My people are used to the jumping rope. And if you are doing low jumping jack, anybody can be as long as you can walk, you can do any of my classes. Just right, left. And your jump rope for low, even if you have the jump rope in class, those that do not like to jump rope, they just would. 
grow and just keep those legs moving. That's all you need to do, you know, to keep moving. Now I want to engage upper body. I'm going to go into plant. Uh, when you go into the plant, there are so many things you can do while on plant. You can hold that plant for like 30 seconds. Then you can add walking your arm down and up for 15, 20 seconds. If you want to do low, this is no no in my class. I do not like square body. Walk those spine, make your spine walk. Move it forward, down, down, up, up. You can do this for 20, 25 seconds. Got it? Got it. You can do high, you can do low. Now, another plant that I like to do in class that will work the entire body, your full plant, you can saw the body forward and back. Palm down. This is no, this is yes. You raise up uh, your toe forward, then back. Then back. If you are doing low, palm down, elbow down, go forward, then back. This is difficult without shield. Forward, back. Forward. Then we hold it forward for 15, 20 seconds. Then same thing, hold it back. Okay. Big stretch. We do some stretches in the plants. Then we also have side plank. Your side plank, you can hold the side plank throughout with full body for eye. You can do elbow down for meat. You can do side of the knee for the Again, it's open at your choice. I used to do high, but my shoulder doesn't go too well with high anymore. So I usually do low. Your eye, your um, entire hand down for mid, elbow down. If you are doing low, your hips should be off the floor, the side of the knee. You are still getting a good side plank. And sometimes we walk the plank up, down, up. Down, up, down. <laughs> Sorry, I have babies here. Yeah. <laughs> this is not time. Okay. Then, of course, we do the same thing on the other side. Your eye, your palm down, hold it, your mid elbow down, your low side of the knee down, or, uh, whichever you want. I usually do me now. Take, lock the body up to the end down. You can do this for two. Uh, eight reps, which will be like 16. Then you hold that plank again. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, this is supposed to be nothing. You know, it's still working, so I have to do double boats. Those are some of the small, small stuff uh, you can do. Now to go back to cardio, again, alternate days with eye cardio. We have a lot of cardio that we do that when we jog with the knees up, we jog with the knees up. Then we have mountain climb that you pull down, you ski, that's your low, ski, ski, then pull, big pull, that will be your low. There are some people that do not like to do push up on the floor. It's okay. Look for a wall. Can you see it from the wall? Then you can do your push up on the wall down. Then up, up, then up. Just empty those, um, your elbow, your upper body, and then the them down, uh, upper body. Then the jumping jack, the ski, the jump rope. Then we have some tiny, tiny thing that you know we add to it. With my eight class, we have a lot of stations that just work on our body. But hey, this is just own thing to. Uh, be able to get you to work out for at least 30 minutes at most 40, 45. And it's, the sequence is repetitive so that you get as much work out as you, you, know, you can involve your children, you know, find something for them while you do, do all this. And if you go on that place, squat, toes out, chest lifted, you can break the board, pull, 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 pull and pull. Um, we have some other tiny, tiny thing that we're able to do without having the, 
improvements that we need, you know, for working out. You can do your own working lunges at house, at your home. Work, you know, just down together, down together. I'm walking backward, so you can see me on my video. Down together, down together. And you can do side, side one, traveling, side lunges. God. And look how so shuffle, God. <laughs> shuffle, 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 pull. Make it fun, pull, pull. Shuffle, shuffle, pull, pull. Just keep smiling, keep moving. However, keep drinking lots of water. Hey, friends, it's Miss Christy again. Now, um, I'm kind of thinking aloud of what and what you have at home that will help you get some good workouts. Everybody has chairs, you have table, use them. Have that chair and know the others is being able to find time to do it. That is why coming back to classes is extremely important. But hey, get something at home. You can have the chair if you want to do low, the seat will face you. But if you want to do high, get the adult, these are for my daycare children, sorry. Get the adult chair that will really work your glue, your butt, your, your everything. And after it, you are going to go across it, go across back. This will work your inner tight and your outer tight. You can do this for carrying for five seconds. Then you go from working your inner and outer tight. Of course, you can do your tricep dip. And with your tricep dip, make sure that you are back to the yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see if you guys can see the back of my chair from there. Okay, do not go if you go to the edges like I always say in class, you can tip over. So, anchor your hand to the end, and you are just going to make sure the elbow is bent all the way down. Then, up. if you are doing advance down and up, you can do eight on the right leg, then eight on the left leg. If you want to do low down and up, down and up. If you want to do super low. Just my back back. In class, I allow people to go at their pace. However, I want them to keep on challenging themselves. If you want to do super low, grab one weight or your backpack, up, down, up, down, up, down, but make it heavy. Then, of course, you are going to do anything you do on the right, you want to do on the left. So go up, down, up, down. So that's the last to come. You can do, you know, with the chair as well. Now, another thing that I would like you, uh, you can do yeah, like mountain climbs, maybe 30 seconds of mountain climbs, maximum 20, 25, maybe 30 seconds, depending on how advanced you are. You can do that mountain climb, then add some jacks, then add some Spider Man push up. Your mountain climb. You can just shuffle around in your, in your living room at the edge, then do that mountain climb. Maybe ten, two, then shuffle, then do that mountain climb. In out, in out. Then shuffle. Then the pace will go back and forth and do like start from 15, 15, 20, 20 seconds, you know, something like that. Then I'm going to add like um Spider-Man push-up. And the Spider-Man push-up is going to and just your entire body. And you can do the body. Spider Man push up. You push it down. You now push down. If you are doing low on both knees, forward. Forward. Now, okay. I want to add a little bit of uh, the up session. Most of you know, you know what it is. You may or may not use mats. If you ask the skin, can you see me? Again, I usually recommend if you have that 90 degree, 90 degree leg, your left knee to your right elbow in together, push together. You are extending that leg like two inches off the floor, all the way down to get marks in together, in together, in together, in together. You can do this for 20. Seconds at most, maybe 
30 seconds. There are so many, and you can also to add the right oblique your foot to tuck that to then fold back. Reach, and some people rush this thing because you don't need to rush. Be great, then fold. Reach, then fold. And of course, the other side, same thing. Reach, then fold. I'm giving you small, small examples that you can work on at home. Reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. And of course, there are something that I know some of you like, like the bicycle ride all the way up. Now just pull, it. pull. This day you have abs inside. Do as much as you can. Then I have something that I do in class that I like. I call it X, big X body. Your right arm, finger is going to touch left toe. Push. This is so cool. Lots of fun. Because you are engaging your abs, your entire abs. Take it up. Take it up. So if you are doing low, if your body is not used to all this, and you are doing low, just try small tap, small tap, until you're able to take it all the way up. Love this. I'm teach it tonight. Okay. <laughs> um. So many other things we can do. Now, give me like maybe two more minutes. Now, go, I want you the arm up, the glue, squeeze it up. You are not only taking it up; you are closing the glue. Squeeze all together. Squeeze all together, and keep breathing. You can do this again. 15 seconds, 20, maybe 30 seconds or some job. And you got that. Then if you're able to take it off, reach and crunch. People with advanced will have that in the in, um, pull the in, then um, low, your leg will be on the floor. Okay. I have no clue how many minutes we've recorded, but I can guarantee with all that I've given you, all these tools can take you to 40 minutes, 50 minutes, even an hour. All you need to do is go down the lane with the, uh, with the drain, then repeat everything. And the more you repeat, the better you are going to get in the morning. Now, don't forget your cool down. That's important. Of course, your warm up is usually your jumping, uh, jumping rope or jumping jack or power walk. Just something simple that will make that blood, uh, your, your blood vein everything moving so that it will be warm up enough for you to get your workout. And to do the cool down, you can do anything with the cool down. You can just roll it around. So, I love to dance. So, now we can add that leg out in, out in, out in. Okay, I'm going to do three, three, two, one, then move it. Two, one, on the fourth time, move. One more, three, two, one, then move. Now tap, 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 and tap. You can put music at the background if you like. Tap, tap, tap. And tap now. Come on, up push. Push. Give me four more. Three. Now two. Now swarm. Reach. And pull it down. Reach. Two more. Keep breathing in and out. Reach. One more time. Reach. Pull it forward. And breathe in. Breathe out. Take it up, open that chest, look over your right shoulder, please. And keep breathing. Swing side. Now clap those fingers behind and chest forward, straight. You are going to switch. Push it forward. Now give me that bicep stretch. Swing side. Now don't forget to shut your bicep. And I love to do the calf stretch. Your heel has to be firmly on the floor. Now reach and hold. Keep breathing and relax the body. Now you stretch, stretch. Take it down and hold. 
you can hold this a little bit longer if you need to. So inside, to spread that calf, remember the heel has to be firmly in this one. Everything, take it and open that chest. Both things together, we want to bring it up, and we want to bring it up, and we to bring it up. Now six side and hold. Now we want to bring it up very slowly, starting one vertebrae. Right now, left, give me that big hip here, hold it to the right, breathe in through that nose. Let it come through the nose. One more time. Now drop it down. Very slowly, sweet. Go to the left, bring it out. One more time. Now go very slowly. Now give me that big head and smile. You've done a good job. Thank you so much for joining me. And I cannot wait to have you guys back in class. I miss you and I love you guys. <laughs>